Welcome everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 22. A lot to be excited about in this year's installation of Farming Simulator, but a few things really stick out for me. First and foremost, you can see the background on the screen changing. We have seasons in the base game now. Obviously, we've had a mod for that in the past, but I never played with that mod, so this is going to be all new to me. We're going to have different activities, different things that we need to do and can do different opportunities based on each of the four seasons so i'm very excited to get started with that all of that will be brand new for me the second thing i'm excited about is the expanded ai behaviors and functionality in the game in the past i freely admit my farms won't function without course play so we're going to see how this all goes as we continue to grow and expand our farm with just the base AI. And of course, who knows where mods will go from here, but we'll see what kind of AI functionality that we have in the base game. And then the third thing is we have production chains in the game. Gone are the days where you are harvesting your different grains and crops, and then you sell those and start the process all over again. Now we have production chains. So instead of taking our wheat and selling our wheat directly, which you can still do, now we can put, take it to maybe the grain mill and then the bakery. And so we have multiple steps involved with some of these crops so that we can take our base products and turn them into more finished goods and of course, increase our profitability in doing so. So a lot to be excited about here. Let's go ahead and hop into career mode. I have spent very little time in the game, so pretty much all of this is brand new. Uh, I did adjust some of the settings to hopefully save us a little bit of time. Uh, we want to use Farm Manager. The reason I like Farm Manager is because we just get money. We don't own any land. We don't own any equipment. We get to choose our destiny. So let's go ahead and select Farm Manager, and then we get the map. Now we're going to uh, choose Elm Creek because that is the American map, but you do have three maps total. A couple of more European and mountainous style maps, but we're going to select Elm Creek and then we're going to continue. Now, then we get to select our mods or DLC. Uh, because I pre-ordered the game, I do have the DLC. Not that it's something we're necessarily going to use. Who knows? But as I select start, we're going to see the loading screen. In the bottom right hand corner, you can see the percentages. Uh, the loading screen doesn't really take too awfully long. Now, I'm using a computer that's about six years old. Uh, using an i5 processor from back then, a 1070 uh, as far as the processor. There you go. We're already at 100%. So the loading screen doesn't take very long at all. Probably take a little bit longer the first time you load the game or a particular map, but not too bad at all. Now we come to character creation. All right, so we've got a basic, a few basics here. Let's go back to some of the player models you can see we've got male and female a few different varieties there i'm actually going to leave this one as is okay now the hairstyle we've got a lot of these uh this is probably closest to what hairstyle i have uh let's see select the color let's go a little bit darker there we go i like that Okay, now let's move back out to uh, beards. No beard here. Uh, now, I do tend to get lazy, and sometimes we have a little bit of stubble. We'll leave it at no beard. How about that? No mustache, although you do have several selections there, and the old handlebar mustache is always a good choice. Then we have our outfits. You have both at the very top. Uh, you can see we have some basic outfits, and then you have your branded outfits at the bottom if you are particularly loyal to a certain brand. Uh, this is what I like. I always like the overall and coverall looks whenever I can see them. And you can see we have a couple of styles of those that are more of the branded look. Okay, perfect for working in uh, the cow barn for sure. I like this look as well. But I tell you what, let's go to, let's try to create our own. Uh, oh, the vest. Always a good look with the flannel. Yes, yes, I'm liking that. We have our jacket. Uh, I'm, I'm, I gotta tell you, I'm liking the vest. Uh, we've got several options here. 
If we just want to go basic t-shirt, there's our hoodie option. Ooh, the case hoodie. Okay, I like. If you've watched uh, previous content I've done on Farming Simulator, you know I like the case models. All right, so let's do that. We got the case hoodie, and then what kind of pants are we gonna get? We're gonna get the cargo. Uh, we are not doing skinny jeans. Farmers don't do skinny jeans. That's not a thing. Uh, how about the cargo pants? Let's do our color. Uh, of course, we can go the more traditional blue. Uh, I like the darker color. It hides the dirt a little bit better. All right, then we got to have the steel toes. I mean, I like these default. Of course, we've got, yeah, I mean, we got monk boots. We've got more of your uh, tennis shoes I see down here, which are always nice. But I feel like the steel toe is where I need to be. Ooh, I like these. These are nice. Okay, some of these I can... I think I'm just going to leave it at the default, though. Yeah, let's just go with that. How about the color? What do we have? Okay, not a lot to be chosen from there, but we'll darken it up a little bit. All right, hats. Oh, I bet we got some real winners here. All right, yep, got to have the Kango, and let's see. We got plenty. Oh, yeah, for our uh, UTV excursions there. Get your cowboy hats. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the hats off. Then we got, okay, we got some beekeeping equipment in here. We've got, of course, our case hat. I mean, because why not? Oh, do I want to go with the hat? No, I'm going to leave the hat off. Okay, do we need gloves? Well, yeah, we need some gloves. Okay, we don't need winter gloves. Now, also keep in mind, this is a great opportunity to talk about the fact that we'll be able to change our look through the storefront at any time and maybe we want to change it based on the season all right so we've got different types of gloves uh these are the more standard work gloves that i'm used to yep although i do kind of like these riding gloves i like that i guess for now let's just leave it no gloves but now we're going to need some glasses we can go the standard sunglasses protective glasses uh, let's go with the I can't see anything if I'm not wearing my glasses look. Okay, so it looks like that's it. Uh, that's not a bad base look for us. We look very studious. We look like we're about to make some money. So let's go ahead and confirm that. And here we are, dropped into the game world. Now, first thing we need to do is we need to pause this thing. So we need to find the part of the menu that has that. Where is that at? This looks like a menu that would have it. Not quite... There it is. Pause the game. So that our time, which is going to be very limited here at the beginning, because we're going to spend today's video just going through some of the basics, making some initial decisions, setting up our base options in the game, starting with a quick look through the menus and the map. So here's our map. I believe there are over 80 fields in the map. Yeah, we can see we're in the 70s there. There's 81. So, maybe, okay, 81, 82, yeah, a lot of fields here. We're going to have no shortage of fields to work. And as always, you can choose to create your own or combine some of those that already exist. So the first thing we're going to need to decide is we're going to need a plan. Where do we want to go? What type of crops do we want to deal with? What type of production chain do we want to deal with? So we'll come back to this menu uh, shortly and make some decisions about where we want to start. Uh, but let's quickly go through some of these other options. We have our AI workers. This is where they'll show up, our AI workers, and what they happen to be doing, and what stage of work they're in. And then one of the most important screens for us, since we'll be using the seasons, and that is our calendar. We need our crop calendar to tell us what we can do and when we can do it. So it looks like most of our crops are going to be um, all about, yeah, they're all about the spring. Now, if we scroll down here, grass, which is going to be very important because we're going to need that for our animals uh, later on. So it looks like grass will be growing throughout most of the year, except for the winter time. Okay, I like it. I like it. And then you can see a lot of a lot of things get planted in the springtime, and fall is going to be our favorite time of the year for 
uh, a lot of harvesting. But I'm noticing here we've got some of our grains that are, well, right about now. You can see our blue line here. That is where we are currently. We are in August. Now, by default, the game gives us, I believe, one day per month. So 12 days will make up an entire calendar year. You can always change that, but I believe by default it's just one day. So right now we're in August in the morning, uh, and it looks like it's time to harvest wheat, canola, oats, potatoes, sorghum, and then you get into some of the others at the bottom. Okay, all right, so sorghum, wheat, we've missed our opportunity for barley, so be a while before we can do anything there. It's actually time to plant. Uh, let's see, what is that? I'm trying to tell, canola. All these different shades here are messing with my eyes. Okay, so we've got different options there. And we'll talk about this a little bit more when we get back to our decisions. But I'm leaning toward the grains right now and going that grain, grain mill, and uh, bakery route. Making some bread just to get us started. It's a very basic functionality. And I think it'll keep things simple at the beginning. But we'll look at that here more in just a bit. So this is going to be something we'll have to come back to. I know I will quite a bit. Okay, here's our weather. Weather will be vital because we have very limited windows on when we can uh, plant versus when we can uh, harvest. So, and of course you can't harvest in the rain with a lot of these crops. So we'll have to keep this in mind. If there's some rain coming up, then uh, that could be very bad for us. Also snow something we'll have to keep an eye on in the winter time. Then we get into our prices, uh, something we'll definitely look at in more detail as time moves on, as well as the price fluctuations, because there are certain times of the year that we'll want to sell certain products. Then we got our vehicles, our finance overviews, our animals, whenever we get to those. We got some contracts, a great way to pick up some extra money on the side, uh, particularly if we don't have anything going on for our crops. All right, production chains. We're definitely going to get into this. As I mentioned, if we go the grain route, then we'll have the grain mill, bakery, and who knows what else we might get into. Okay, various statistics, and then we get into some of the game settings. Now, I do want to briefly look through some things here. Uh, time scale, we'll leave it 5x right now. Economic difficulty. I want to change that to easy. Simple reason, we're going to have fun with this. And the more money we have, the more we can expand, the more stuff we can buy, and the more I enjoy it. We're going to leave traffic on for now. Uh, here is our seasonal growth. We definitely want to leave this on yes. That means we have to use the crop calendar instead of being able to plant and harvest anytime we want. We're going to leave this at one day per month. Uh, so that'll be a 12-day year for us. Uh, as time goes on, we may need to expand that just to give us enough time to do everything we need to do. But for right now, I think one day is sufficient. Uh, definitely don't want a fixed visual month. We want the, the seasons to change, and we want to see that. Snow, we'll leave that on. That is going to be very troublesome, I have a feeling. All right, all of these we're going to leave on for now. We have field stones. There are going to be stones that show up in the field as we're plowing and cultivating. Any of these that start to be more trouble than they're worth, we'll come in and turn those off. Uh, but for right now, we'll stick with it. Uh, what else do we have? Trailer fill limit. I don't remember seeing that one before. Trailers can only be filled until the maximum allowed weight is reached. Interesting. But it's off by default. I wonder why. Very, very interesting. I'm going to turn that on. Yeah, let's do that. Fuel usage, we'll leave all that. And then, okay, so we got our AI workers. Yeah, I'm just going to have them buy what they need along the way. Uh, what else do we have? Anything we need to take a look at in here? Uh, I did come in and change before some of the units. Uh, by default, you're going to be looking at more metric. I turned it, because I'm in the USA, I turned it into some things that make more sense to me, including uh, the hectares. I changed it to acres because, well, Acres is something that just more familiar terms I use more often. Uh, no radio because we're recording and YouTube sometimes doesn't like that. Okay, we'll leave some of these. I'm sure I'm going to need to make some adjustments 
Uh, in fact, one I do want to look at real quick. Uh, where is it? Steer back speed. Okay, yeah, we're returning to default. Yeah, we want that to be pretty quick. So let's leave that at 100. And I believe that's it. For now, we've got several things that we can take a look at, but that should be it. All right, let's go ahead and get all the way back up to the top. And our map. So as I mentioned a couple of different times, let's start out with the grains. Let's keep it very basic for now before we get into animals and and getting into more complex production chains. So if we do grains, then we're going to need a grain mill, which I think is right up here. Yep, grain mill is here. And we're going to have a lot of time to look at the different parts of the map. Uh, but I have familiarized myself a little bit with the map. So we're going to need the grain mill, and then we're going to need the bakery, which, where is the bakery? Okay, here's your train right down here, which I'm sure includes a couple of selling points. Yep, there we go, east, and I'm sure this is west. Yep, so there's a couple of selling points. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what do we have? Okay, there's restaurant, market. Okay, a couple more selling points to keep in mind. And then we have, what is that? Okay, sawmill. Yeah, all right. So that's going to be more for the timber, which we're certainly not going to be using uh, anytime soon. Then we get our animal. Okay, animal dealer. Spinnery. All right, I like it. Grocery mart. All right, another selling point. You can see they have moved our selling points around so that they're more easily located on the map. I like it. Okay, biogas. All right, excellent. Vehicle shop. All right, so this is where all of our vehicles are going to spawn in. Not too bad. They made it more centrally located as far as north and south. Not necessarily east and west, but that's okay. Uh, what do we have here? Oh, there's our bakery right there. So we've got grain mill and bakery. Those are the two I'm most interested in here at the very beginning to keep things simple. All right, what do we have here? Fast food, okay, another selling point, gas station. All right, probably won't need the gas station a whole lot as I usually like to put a, um, a, a fuel station somewhere around the farm. Then we get into, this looks more industrial to me. Oil mill, debris crusher, that's for our rocks. Uh, grapes, okay. Lime, all right, we need, we're definitely gonna need that. And then we get into a couple of selling points, yeah. Okay, so we got some industrial activity over here. Where we have carpentry. Okay, that's more for working with the wood. Okay, so our grain south, which means, do we have a grain north? I don't see one, at least not right now. Okay, and then biomass. All right, so we have, looks like we got biomass here, and then we got biomass, where is it at? There it is. All right, so we got a couple of different options there. Okay, so we've got different things in uh, all over the map that we can easily get to. So now we need to decide where do we want to start. Well, if we're going to deal with grains, then that's going to mean, uh, let's see, we're going to get rid of the trees, the olives, grapes, uh, sorghum we can leave, cotton, sugarcane, beets, potatoes. We're going to turn off all of these, soybeans, sunflowers we're going to get rid of that at least for the time being uh oats i'm going to turn off because they don't they really don't go the same production chain uh through the grain mill so i'm going to turn those off as well and let's see canola is more oil which we're not dealing with right now in fact i didn't see wait, wait is that it yeah the oil mill okay so that would be for our canola so that's going to leave us with wheat barley and sorghum so what do we have left highlighted that is the key okay i see right here okay that's a nice size field uh it's also pretty centrally located to our bakery that's nice not centrally located to our grain mill but that's okay we'll have some uh, ai workers do a lot of that for us in fact i'm hoping all of it if possible. Okay, I'm liking this. That's a nice size field. I'm seeing a few other fields with our wheat, but most of these are smaller, so I'm liking this area. 
Okay, what about barley uh, and sorghum? Uh, there's a nice couple of nice sized fields here for some of this. Where is our barley? Do we have any barley on the map? Maybe, maybe I'm just missing it. Um, I know based on the calendar, it's not quite time for that just yet. So that may be why we're not seeing any. So we'll leave that off uh, for now. So sorghum and wheat. Now, if we come back to our uh, calendar, sorghum and wheat. So wheat, it is time to harvest. Sorghum, it is time to harvest. Uh, those overlap pretty nicely in August, so that's perfect. Both of these will go through the same production chain, so I like that. Okay, so right now, I'm liking this area. What is that? That is field 56. It's pretty centrally located. It's near the bakery. It is, which we're going to get into a little bit later on. But it's a nice size field. The shape, not so much. But, all right, let's go ahead and see how much we need for this. All right, we have, okay, 1.5 million. This is 266,000. And here's another thing I like. There's a lot of area. So we've got our field right in here. But then we've got a lot of area out here that we might be able to do some things with. And, of course, we're going to need some just basic land that does not have any fields on it because we're going to need things like greenhouses and uh, wind power generators for, for uh, money generation, all those different types of things. And, okay, 56 looks like where we want to be. So do we want to buy this? Absolutely, we want to buy it. Now, are we still... Are we still... Okay, yeah, we're still uh, on pause. I got worried there for a second that we were not on pause, but we are. So we're good. So now, farmland. There we go. So field 56 and the surrounding area is ours. And it has wheat on it. Uh, actually, where are we right now? Uh, we're going to have to unpause this game, aren't we? <laughs> You're going to force me to unpause this game to move around uh, a little bit more. Actually, let's go ahead and let's just hop over to... Yeah, we're going to have to unpause the game. So let's go ahead and unpause it real quick and let's see there yeah, there we go all right i am looking for right across the street so here is the vehicle shop uh, i love it there's tons of room out here i assume everything is going to spawn in this big area so tons of room there it looks like our repairs can be done right there and here we are right across the street this is amazing i love this all right, so there's the edge, but what I'm most interested in is on this side of the field. Okay, so we need to get busy on this. All right, so we're at 8.30 in the morning at five times speed. Let's go ahead and hop in and take a look. Now, you do have some packages this year. If you're saying, look, I just want to harvest some grain, give me some basics. Well, you got some basics here. You purchase each one of these things uh, individually. So, okay, that's good. That's very good. Uh, we're actually going to do this piece by piece, though. All right, so we need a, a harvester. So let's go ahead and hop in here. We'll start out pretty basic, I think. I don't want to get the basic one. At least I don't think I do anyway. We shall see. All right, I'm seeing weight here. I uh, don't remember seeing that before. Maybe it was there, and I just simply missed it. All right, and let's see, a harvester. This is a nice size harvester. Uh, I like New Holland. I am not a huge fan of John Deere. Of course, then we've got, looming overhead here, we've got our case tractor. Uh, let's see, our case our Axial 7150. Let's see, what do we have for headers for the 7150? Uh, will this one fit? Combinations, there we go. 
combinations. Well, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> that was not even a little bit helpful. All right, so this case header uh, is 28 foot. I like that. And of course, it's not going to be the huge ones, but I think that might work. What I'm trying to see, and it's not really showing me, is the header that would go with it. Maybe I have to go to the actual harvester. Let's scroll across. All right, so the 7150, the combination, yeah, there we go. So it doesn't work both ways. That would be nice if you could go into uh, both ways. Okay, we're not going to need any of those. That's for your sunflowers, corn. All right, so we can do up to 28 feet with this one. Okay, I like that. That'll work for now. We may want to get rid of this. In fact, we're just going to lease some equipment right now as we get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get, let's get that one. And we are not going to worry about any, ah, let's just go standard there. How much is the difference there? Yeah, we don't really need the twin wheels. We're good. Total price. Uh, the lease is going to cost us a little bit of money up front. Yeah, 15 grand. That's fine. Okay. Now we need to come in and grab our header. Uh, so we did see that we could get the 28 foot header, which is right here. And once again, we'll just go ahead and lease that one. $2,400 plus a certain amount uh, that we're going to have to pay, I'm sure, based on the time used, which of course is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and hop in. Let's see how our steering goes. Ooh, nothing better than your keyboard steering. I'm looking forward to getting my wheel and pedal set up with the game. All right, now I can simply drive this guy over and let him get started, but let's take a moment and see what we can do. All right, so this guy, can we, no, we cannot. Interesting. All right, so if I hit H, you see in the top right-hand corner, no field found. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and take him over and let this guy get started. All right, hopefully we don't get run over by traffic. Now, based on what I'm seeing here, um, I think I want to go this way. A little bit more room, because turning around is going to be a headache. All right, let's get this guy started. We don't need to get him perfectly set up. All right, let's see if he finds this field now. Yeah, there we go. All right, so he's going to start slowly filling up his grain bin. Uh, let's see. He is... Where do we change? Okay, I guess we're not doing that. I was wanting to adjust the, uh, the swath there, but it looks like we're not going to get that option. Okay, no big deal. All right, yeah, he's going to have a lot more room to turn around going this direction. He's got plenty over here, and we have to chop a few trees going forward. Okay, now we're going to need a trailer. Uh, so let's see. What do we need for a trailer? Uh, we can go with the basic, but I don't think we want to go with the basic. What about, let's see, 18.5 meters. So this is not showing me in the units I'm used to, so we'll work through this. All right, so that's gonna give, based on the weight you can see here, let's see, no. Actually, it's not changing. They're all the same. Interesting, so this is another, thing that I'm going to have to get used to. Also, it does not tell me. No, it does not tell me. The uh, necessary horsepower for this. I'm wondering if that has to do with the option I selected. 
Interesting. Okay, we'll go with this for now, but we may have to change this. So, all right, it looks like we've got some room there. 18 and a half. Uh, what is this one? Well, this is going to be interesting. Your tonnage is right here, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. 4.9. Five point four. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to get this one. So double click there. Uh, we'll set up. Eh, we'll leave that at standard. Uh, let's go with the red cover. Oh yeah, yeah. We got to do that. Uh, we're not going to do a license plate. I don't think anyway. Are we going to do a license plate? Uh, nope. That's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, we'll come back to that later. But actually, I believe we're going to go ahead and buy this because we're going to have a lot of use for this, I believe, going forward. So let's go ahead and buy this one. And if we need to sell it later, we'll just do that. All right, so here is a 12.6 tons. Okay, so let's back out and let's go get a tractor. And I'm going to grab a medium tractor, maybe. And all right, so the Fent tractors I like, but of course you guys already know from what we talked about before. Seriously? There are no case tractors in here for me? Oh, you guys are just trying to hurt my feelings. What about large tractors? Finally, a case tractor. Okay. So medium tractor, uh, I like the Fent models. I do like those. All right, New Holland I'm also a fan of. And we're gonna have a lot of use for these over time. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and just get one of these. And what if we lease it? 11,000, yeah, let's go ahead and just lease this for now. Okay, so this guy is busy at work. He's about 60% done. Okay, not bad. Let's go ahead and hop over and get connected here. I'm going to have to figure out how this is all working now. I may have got myself mixed up with these options about how much we can carry on each of these things. All right, so let's open up the AI menu for this thing. Let's create a job. And let's see, we need this guy to, uh, loading station should be, these are just going to be places, I believe. Some of you may be aware of where I'm trying to go with this. I am trying to get this guy to attach to this worker like we could do in course play. I don't think we're going to get that option. No, we're going to have to wait for course play to do that. All right, so no big deal. So we'll go ahead and pull out of here. And I'm just going to park this guy right over here to the side. We're going to get him out of the way, but he'll be here uh, whenever we need him. Let's go ahead and open the cover as well okay so now we have our very first tractor we've got a new holland and so if we hop in so we got a pretty powerful tractor for now okay so we've got that and then let's go ahead and take a look at some other things we're going to need oops wrong menu there all right, so we're running low on time for today. Obviously, we're not going to get as much done today because we needed to get started. Uh, let's see, implements. The next thing we're going to need is, I believe we're going to need to plow. Uh, it says it needs lime, no problem. Uh, it does not say it needs plowing, so it's not time for this field to be plowed. That's perfectly fine with me. So let's hop in here 
And where is, all right, let's see if we can find it here. Animals, we've got all sorts of, is it under miscellaneous? Shouldn't be. I am simply missing it. That's what it is. And, okay, so we've got sprayers, uh, fertilizer. There we go. So we can use, yeah, we can use the lime here for that. That should be nice. Can we fit lime in anything else other than these two? Okay, nope, that should be good. So we'll go ahead and grab this one. We should also be able to put fertilizer in this one, but we'll use this one as our lime. And I'm gonna go ahead and buy this because yeah, we're definitely going to be using this. Spreading discs, the six meter unit. Okay, I like that. That goes from, we get go from 12 to 18. Okay, that's worth the extra eight grand to me. What about the extension? Ah, we won't need that for capacity because the AI workers will be taking care of it. Let's get some Michelin tires on this thing. Continental, ooh, very nice. Okay, I like these. So we got some good options in here. All right, let's go ahead and buy that. Well, we are spending some money, and it makes me nervous every time we get to do that. We're down to 1.1 million. Okay, so that takes care of the spreader. Boy, I'm going to need some modded spreaders to come in here. That's for sure. I mean, we've got, we've got this one, uh, which should work. I may just go ahead and purchase one of these, but we'll, we'll hang out a little bit before that. We're going to have sprayers that we're going to need as well for uh, weeds. Let's see, what do we get here for working with? So we've got, oh, that's just a tank. Then we've got, what, 24 meters. Wow, 27 meters. Uh, but these are tow behind. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this one will fit on the tractor itself, and we can just go from there. So let's go ahead and buy this one. I may end up going with a couple of different ones of these, just simply because we can use them for different things. Uh, one for the weeds and maybe one for fertilizer. Uh, but again, we'll come back to that whenever it is time. All right, so our guy here is ready to go. Now, we do not have a silo. So we're gonna need to spend a little bit more money. All right, did I get over far enough? Yeah, I did. Okay, so let's get this guy unloaded. And let's see about the uh, capacities here of the trailer versus our combine. We're probably gonna wanna get a bigger combine in the long term, but to, this one will be fine for the time being. All right, let's see what we got here on the field. So we're at 43% on the trailer right now and you can see he's getting down pretty low in the combine and yeah he should be about done there you go about 57 percent okay so just over half all right i like this combination okay good so now we come to another decision so normally we could take this we could put it in the silo save it up for later or we could go and sell it. Well, we're definitely not going to take it and sell it. So we've got our wheat. All right. So as it's doing its save, let's talk about the calendar. All right. So we've got, we're going to be about ready to replant here before too long. But if we take a look at our prices on wheat, let's do the price fluctuations. You can see right here where we are is the lowest price. Makes sense because this is the greatest supply. This is when everybody is going to be harvesting. So if we were going to sell, we would want to sell during the winter time. Okay, January, February, somewhere December, January, February time frame. Okay, but if we turn this into flour and if we didn't take it any further, there's our flour. 
All right, so flower, same thing. You wouldn't want to sell your flower until it gets into winter time. What about bread? Okay, just wanted to make sure that we're actually going to get some different things because it looks like we're going to want to sell everything during, well, preferably January. December, January is when we're going to want to do that. So we're not going to get any income for a little while. And that can be pretty scary, quite frankly. Okay, so now we need to figure out where do we need to take this. I think we need to take this up here to, there we go, to the grain mill. So let's go ahead and tag the grain mill and let's see where we are gonna need to go. So we're gonna need to follow along. Yeah, this is gonna be a nice area. But first, before we do this, uh, let's go ahead and visit the grain mill because before we can use this grain mill, I want to purchase it. So it looks like, is this where we go to purchase it or is this where he's gonna drop off? Uh, it looks like this is where he's gonna drop off. Okay, yeah, we've got a lot. Yeah, this is, I can't even imagine how expensive this is gonna be. Okay, yeah, so here's where he drops off. That is much better than what I thought. So we already got some workers here showed up. So we want to buy this, okay? If we don't buy this and we show up to sell, What's it gonna mean for us? Wheat, show the current prices. Okay, so the grain mill will buy it for 876, but of course we don't want that. That's not what we want, so we wanna buy this thing. Uh, buy production points. Oh, 96,000, that's not bad at all. Absolutely we wanna do this. Absolutely, so now we need to manage this thing. Uh, so we're gonna to wanna to do flour. Um, let's see, all of this has cost, and of course we're missing materials. Uh, deactivate all of this, because we're not even growing any of that right now. Just to make sure, because I'm not sure if it would continue costing us money if it was active and didn't have the ingredients. I'm not sure. So to be on the safe side, uh, wheat flour, we're about to bring that. So 150 turns into 120. That's a pretty nice number there. Okay, not too bad. Actually, oats is really nice. Same thing with sorghum. Okay, not too bad. And, all right, so let's go ahead and get, let's get up here with this guy. So we're gonna open up our AI menu and we're gonna create a job. And let's see, what do we want to do? We want to deliver. Uh, we want to deliver to the grain mill, is that what it called it? I've already forgotten. Grain mill, there we go. And looping, uh, no, let's just do no looping. Yeah, actually, yes, let's do looping because we're gonna have at least two or three loads of this to do right now. Let's see, where is he on the field? Oh yeah, we're gonna have several loads of this, Never mind. Okay, so start job. Let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, let's see what he does. He is blocked by an object. Okay, nope, looks like he's working through that right now. Worker E is blocked by an object. Uh, nobody should be blocked. So that should clear itself out, and it does. All right, so this guy should navigate his way through. <laughs> I thought he was gonna run right into that post, and he almost did. So this is our first opportunity to see how these guys are. Now, if you want to see the map in the bottom left-hand corner, you do have a mini map. Uh, we can make this a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and do that so that we can follow along with this guy's path. And we'll just get an idea of exactly what he's going to do. So today's video is going to run a little bit longer than, than my intention is for the normal videos. But so much to do in today's video, I'm okay with that. Also, you get an opportunity to see the icons for the AI here on the screen. So he's going to come to the end now. Uh, let's see. It gives me an option. It says change the cruise control speed. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with us now. I would assume the AI is just controlling that on his own. So I'm not going to mess with it. 
So now we own the grain mill. And here shortly, we're actually going to hop in uh, and we're going to buy the bakery as well so we can complete our our production chain all right he's not gonna stop oh please just all I, all I ask right now is that I'm hoping the developers have kept them from getting stuck on things I mean we've seen for years workers getting stuck on trees trying to turn around and okay so he's gonna go this way I thought he might actually go straight there and keep going for a little while but no it looks like he's gonna go around the corner so this is gonna take a while yeah this is definitely gonna take a while normally I would have waited uh, I would have let him wait in the field and not done this until he was actually full to save a little time especially since he's having to go so far but for our purposes today I really want to see if he can com complete this and I see a bridge up ahead please don't hit the side of the bridge or fall off so far so good also gives us an opportunity to see a little bit of the map oh what are we doing here that must have been a junction that was created like course play so I'm not sure if the developers actually got with the course play developers and said, hey, can we implement some of this in the game or maybe all of it over time? Or if this is something they did on their own. So uh, we'll just have to see how this works out. And see how the, uh, the functionality goes uh, in the future. Because I believe they do have plans to, to continue expanding this. Uh, one thing I can tell you right now is he's not exactly going smooth. Is he going to run off the side there? Oh, he almost did. This is going to be very interesting as far as how it integrates with uh, the traffic. Also notice I'm getting some frame drops here. Uh, for the most part, I'm getting uh, a smooth 60 frames, but it's dropping down every once in a while to a noticeable amount. So a couple of times crossing the water. Yeah, a couple of more junctions. Looks like he's having some issues there with the junctions. So that could certainly use a bit of work. Oh, he does not like this hill. But fortunately, there's only one he's going to have to deal with. And we're almost there. So here he comes up on the grain mill. So right now I'm going to go ahead and move this back down to our square version of the mini map. And let's see how he does. Now this is a pretty wide open area for the most part. Let's see. Okay, he's going to go this way. And then come out on the other side. So I believe he's going to be fine. I don't believe there's going to be any serious obstacles. Those of you who use course play a lot, you know you have to scout out all the areas for any potential obstacles that are going to trip your guy up. Okay, let's see. Does he indeed... Okay, he stopped where he was supposed to stop. All right, he's unloading. You notice in the top right-hand corner, we're not receiving any money because we're not selling it. Okay, so far so good. I haven't seen the message yet that says our combine is once again full. So that's good. All right, is he stopping here? Nope, I thought he was going to stop there. All right, it shows he's blocked. He is not blocked, so I think he's going to... Neither one of them should be blocked. I'm not sure which one uh, AI Worker E is. Apparently this guy. Ooh, please don't hit anything. There's plenty of room to get through here, big guy. He's not following the road path, for sure. Now he's going to get back on it a little bit. Maybe. Possibly. All right, which way is he going to go? He is going to go back the way he came. Okay, so now you can see him there at the top of the screen. So he's going to make his way back. In the meantime, our combine is... He's still working. He's not full, so we're good. Got a list here on the right-hand side of the screen. I want to come over to our production chain. So now 
you can see cycles per hour on the wheat flour. We've got five. We've got our cost there, and here's how much we're dealing with. Look at the huge amount that we can handle. Okay, so we're perfectly fine there. Is that okay? So that's going to be a shared amount. You can see there, it's a shared amount, it looks like, uh, but that's perfectly fine. I've got, okay, make sure all these are deactivated. Yeah, it had me a little worried because I'm seeing this in here. All right, so there's our flour. We're storing it right now, and that's because we do not want to sell it. Uh, in fact, we want to send it forward to the next link in the production chain. So from the grain mill, we're going to want to go to, uh, there it is, the bakery. So let's go ahead and visit the bakery. And sure enough, here we are. So let's take a look on one of the main roads through what would be the town, the closest thing to a town we're going to get on this map. So here's our drop-off. It looks like going to be around, yeah, round back. Okay, got it. Now, we could just stop here and just sell the flour that we have, but we are going to buy this production point, which is, oh, 50 grand. I like it. Yep. Okay, so now I have this, and we can manage in here. Uh, cakes, deactivate that. We are, look at this. Just look at this. No, thank you. We're not ready for that. But bread, however we do want to make and we can take 90 and make 45 so just half there so we go wheat flour we go from 150 to 120 on the flour and then we cut it in half from there okay that's not not terrible that'll let you guys do the math if you want about your uh, productivity and then our uh, our amount so we're coming along quite nicely on the flour so let's hop in here uh, so if I go here, we can change the output mode. All right, distributing it. Okay, so we want to distribute, and that should send it, I believe, over to the bakery. Materials are missing. I wonder how that works. We'll have to figure that out next time because we are gonna call it a day. So, so far, so good. We've gotten a start on some basics. We have purchased our first field. We've gotten a few pieces of equipment leased or purchased, and we're well on our way to a complete production chain, at least as far as bread goes. So that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and stick around for more Farming Simulator 22.